The following program is intended for mature audiences. I am poop. Poop. Can you believe that? I'm poop. I can't believe it, man. I am a piece of shit. I cannot believe my eyes, man. I'm looking at myself and I see a big old duty. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. I'm sure a lot of people drive by or walk past this strange orb, sphere, and uh, think nothing of it. It's quirky. Right now, it almost looks like a, a greenhouse of sorts. But actually, this weird sphere has a lot of history. You have to go back to 1962. Hello again, Peabody here. For whatever reason, this lucky homeowner uh, got to keep it. I don't know what the story is behind it necessarily. Ah, Chairman, that's the biggest load of dog shit I've ever heard in my entire life. And I'm a dog. A lot of history there. That's pretty cool. I wonder where all the other junk from the World's Fair ended up. The beach. I did a little bit of research, looked on my phone. It actually had a name. It was called the Bubbleator. The Bubble Elevator. Bubble it. Bubbleator. Bubble here. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty then. Now, one day I'm gonna go check out this place. Well, that day is today, and I get to share it with my viewers. So. Last week here in this area, I'm gonna do a little bit more urban style stuff. We're gonna be doing some some boondocking in public places, uh, and uh, just kind of enjoying the fact that I have my tiny little smart car to uh, scoot around. But yeah, today we're doing LeMay, Le LeMay, America's Car Museum. All right, uh, as we walk into the first of four floors here at the museum, something interesting just happened. When I pulled in, they asked me where I parked, and I said, well, I parked my RV behind the other RV. And then she said, oh, are you checking in for harvest hosts? I didn't even know you guys are a harvest host. Are you kidding me? Did I just, she says, yeah, well, we, are, we only have one person staying tonight. If you're a harvest host and you give me your member, we can probably just let you stay here tonight. We'll lock the gate at 5 p.m. and you can leave in the morning, but if you need to leave, then they gave me all the information. So LeMay Car Museum is a harvest host, guys. And this a harvest host, a harvest host, a harvest host. I <laughs> get to go explore the museum, maybe check out a magnet on the way out, and I get to stay here for free. Hey, nomadic fanatic size cars. They're tiny. Whoa, you getting this one through the hood? Okay. We fuck dwarves in the ass. Yeah, that's where it's at. I don't like watching NASCAR on TV. It's it's all about being there in person with another bus with like 40 people on top of it. <laughs> we gotta go to another NASCAR race here one day, guys. What's a good one that I haven't been to that's a, a big, a, at least a mile and a half, where you can camp in the infield? I don't want to camp outside the track and then buy grandstand tickets or watch it on my TV outside the track. I want to stand on my roof and see the race. So, uh, you guys have any suggestions of, of a good infield camping NASCAR track for, for next season? Leave, leave something in the comments below and let me know. Route 66 family vacation. <laughs> that one boy does not look happy, though. <laughs> I don't like your jerk-off name. I don't like your jerk-off face, I don't like your jerk-off behavior, and I don't like you, jerk-off. And see if we can secure a magnet for the day. A magnet for the day. Tater hater, 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 tater hater. Actually, yeah, that's the last one. Okay, cool. You probably can't tell, I'm not very level. Leveling jacks out. Put one on the front tire, two on that tire over there, and then kind of pop the RV up like this a little bit to get me level, since I'm gonna be sleeping here. Really nice uh, night out here. Before the museum closed, that other Class C left. I didn't know that they were supposed to leave today. I think I'm gonna sleep really, really well. Getting ready to turn these lights off. I did run my little Craftsman inverter generator for a little bit today because, man, it was warm. Can I get hit off of that, man? Ah, fish lifter. Warm, 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 warm. Are you hallucinating? 
Anyways, guys, lots more to come from Seattle. What the fuck is this piece of shit?